All right, so continuing on with this, we're going to go to example one, but there's one, one set of information I left off. Now, normally they will give you something called the initial value or initial condition. Oh, spell initial, I, initial condition. Now, with that, that means that they, when they talk about initial, that means the beginning, but the value, whatever it is. Um, so they will give you what the actual value is so that you can be able to substitute it into this function here to find your value. So they will always, when they say particular, they will always give you the initial value, what, your, what the actual equation starts with and what it actually is the actual um, value. And then we'll go from there. So let's go to example one. And with example one here, I'm going to have it right here. So that way you can see the whole thing. And then I'm going to pull it off and we're going to work. All right. So it says find the general solution to the equation f of x equals the integral of 6x dx. Find, then find the particular solution that satisfies the initial condition of f0 equals 8. So they give you your initial condition here. They give you your original um, their derivative. It says dx back there. And then it says, okay, find a particular solution. So that means we need to find a solution that looks something like this. Okay, so it's not going to be bad. It's going to be very easy. They give you some initial um, condition and everything with it. So example one here. They give you f of x equals the integral of 6x dx. And again, all we have to do is find out what the original equation is and then be done. All right. And then also, sorry, they give you the initial value, which is zero, f of zero equals eight. All right, so let's go to find the antiderivative. It's going to be something simple. It's going to be simple and easy. All right, so we've done this before. Now, remember when it comes to, and this should actually be a capital F. Whenever we find our um, antiderivative, this should be a capital F right there. And I'm going to write this here, capital F of X or capital G of X, whatever. It's called your antiderivative. So if they give you that symbol of a capital F or a capital G or something of that sort, they want you to already understand that means your antiderivative. So that should have been a capital F when they originally gave it to us, which I don't know why they didn't. All right, so let's go for that. Let's go for broke. All right, so here we know we're going to add 1 to the exponent, divide by that. So we have 6, add 1 to the exponent, 1 plus 1. And then we add 1 here. And then, again, because we don't know what the actual value is, we don't have an A or B, it's an indefinite integral, we're going to do the plus C back here. All right, then we simplify everything down. So we have 6x squared over 2 plus C. And so simplify that is 3x squared plus c. All right, so that is this portion here. Now, with that, that's our general solution. Now, let's go ahead and find our actual, actual particular solution using our initial value right here. As a reminder, we're talking about f of x equals a number. That means here x is equal to zero, because I'm that's the f of x portion right there. And that means this is your y value. And so here, when it comes to this portion here, f of x is the y, so that's our eight right here. Our x value is zero, so we substitute zero there. And so we get an answer of eight equals c. So our particular solution would be f of x equals uh, 3x squared plus 8. And that's our particular solution. And that's all we're going to do for each one of these. The exact same process over and over and over again. Then we might add some extra stuff in later on. But it's going to be okay.